real quick, guys. I started a Facebook page for a question series I have planned. So if you have any PvP questions or just questions in general, you can stop by there and feel free to ask them. And don't forget to drop a like if you like seeing some WoW lols posts now and then. Let's get into the video. What is good YouTube? I <laughs> had some uh, problems when I went to go render this uh, today. And turns out not only my commentary but also the game audio has corrupted. So we're redoing this one and there won't be any PvP sounds or any sounds but yeah I don't know I think I've been having some problems with PvP sounds my buddy said it was working for him though so that probably is my PC. I'm not 100% sure what's going on. I'm gonna have to look into that, but I don't know if I'll be able to get PvP sounds to work. But right here, we got two demon hunters that are prod. And at the beginning, we were racing around in the room, so I knew he was there, he knew I was there. We both knew we were racing, and I just beat him. All right, so here's what you don't wanna do. If you look at the minimap, you can tell our entire team decided to run after the flag not just the two demon hunters right so i because i have super mobility being a demon hunter prop tank just run right by it, my entire team on the way back and that is the worst possible decision to make <laughs> for some reason i thought they clashed you know like usual like the like you run up get the zerker then check out who's on the other side of the team and then you go run after them right why did they all run after the FTC? i have no idea so here i try to give them some helpful advice you need to work on a team and we'll work on the flag all right and right there i seen a hunter but i also if you look at the map again always got to be aware of the map uh you can see that they haven't really crossed too far past mid with the flag so I'm gonna push for definitely getting the flag before he does so I can try to recover the fuck up situation I just left myself in. So this Paladin's here, I'm obviously gonna go for the sap, but he's on the ball with the instant bubble and the instant blinding light, which I'm on the ball with the instant trinket and the instant leap away, and then he's on the ball with the instant horseback and the instant hands. He probably had double horse there because I think I had two leaps, but that's not the point. Point is, my mobility wins today. And I know that I, I remember that shaman from just wrecking me earlier. So I just tried to get close because I knew he's going to try to juke me off the edge. And I just got close enough that I didn't get bumped off. Priest saves me here. Without him, I wouldn't have made it, I don't think. But right here, I'm forced with a decision. Either I turn back to try and get some heals like I just jumped by like three people. Or I make it for the healing power up and we try to keep trucking. Right here, I'm checking my map and he, the priest has made it right behind me. So he's right here. I'm right here. We're, we're all right. We're all right at this point. I can see a couple DPS to the left, but I don't want to get too close to the flag because they have a flag and I, I'm looking at the map. We don't have DPS on them at the moment, so I don't want to run into DPS before he runs into DPS is what I'm thinking, and I'm about to do that, so I'm just backing up a little bit. Let them pick on the other guys for a little while. I, I'm always a little bit afraid before I see somebody in action now. Because if somebody has an artifact weapon really leveled up, they will just truck your day. Smash you. I love going prot. I need to get my weapon leveled a little bit before I can start actually getting some kills. Maybe I just need more practice on it. Maybe a little bit of both. This guy's just free casting in the back. The other demon hunter comes in, just fell breath him. Right here I see that the shaman's going down to hell, so I just make a break for the flag, try to get there for when he dies, and it looks like this hunter has a trap placed right on the flag, but the trap is close enough that I get the cap. So he grabs the flag and runs, and then he's like, this is a terrible idea, so he drops the flag, and then he peels. <laughs> so I return the flag, and then I start chasing him. And I see the priest, and I'm like, I don't give a shit if you got 20% health, man. This guy ain't getting away. I'm not sure. 
and he's like scared so I'm trying to scare him a little bit more you know he's like he's running across the map just to get away from me he didn't want the flight get out of there I need to get out of there so I'm just like all right we're chasing him we're doing it the old-fashioned way as you can tell I've been on my havoc a lot and my leap aim is terrible leap being my slow at the moment since this is the only slow I have specced kind of makes that really bad if I miss that because I only have two of those every little bit but yeah that's another thing so we go for the freeze on the mage because I I got my eyes set on this guy I get the mage is following me that's funny so I go for the stunt just to juke him a little bit to scare him a little bit more <laughs> <gasps> and my aim is still off for the fucking leap. Oh my god, it's good, it's good, it's good. So right here is where I decide to peel. I could have chased him maybe, but I see the speed buff and I see our team didn't have the flag. As soon as I come into the room, they grab the flag. That's alright though, I'm already here. I'm gonna support this guy. I'm gonna be there in case he goes down. I'm looking at what he is right here and it's a hunter, so I'm gonna stick with him. I'm a, I tried to leap in front of him and let him know I'm a prot. And I'm just, alright, I'll get the flag. And he's like, nah man, I got this. All right, I'm a prot. I got nowhere else to be, so I'm just gonna chill here, CC to these people, and try to be here for when you drop the flag, right? And right here, look at this, look at this, look at this. Bam! Leap to it right before the mage gets it, and we do the. I don't even know the fucking charging demon mode away. I'm just trying to make it to the river. All right Now that we're in the river I can pull out the artifact fishing pole. That's right. I'll do it uh, And I can go for that 150% run speed uh, and try to get away when you are under the water unless they got a clear target on you They don't see you on the map so you can sneak right by people unless they're paying attention for it. usually you only get one good cap in and then people are on the ball, but uh, it's not bad right here I'm using the demon charge because you can use your mobilities in it and the demon charge well it doesn't do anything for you on roots it does make you immune to snares most snares I think I've been snared twice by two random things couldn't tell you what they were I want to say one was piercing hell but I might be wrong but anyway uh, it makes you immune to snares for the most part so if somebody just tried to snare me underwater or something like I had a druid follow me once that was crazy but if they try to snare you basically you can just not be snared while you're going 150 percent like you can combo mobility moves with the artifact fishing pole is what i'm saying i keep a bind for the artifact fishing pole and then my normal weapon so i can flip back and i don't have to like open my thing obviously so right here i'm looking at who's got the flag and i can see it's a demon hunter that is the other prot so i'm gonna move on and see if i can get that flag carrier down uh, i know i'm a prot but they don't need me that's for sure there's no point in having two prots on defense so i'm gonna get out here try to put out my cc's get some uh get these guys on me just because why not right i'm a tank if they're on me they're not on the flag carrier then we peel because i realized the flag carrier actually hasn't got out of our base yet so he's right here i catch him when he's going around the side i throw everything i got on him this other guy is just going absolute ham though so we, we're gonna get him. I throw my sigils down. Doesn't even matter if it only lasts a second, just if it interrupts them for a little bit. But I definitely am going to main Havoc for a little while. Havoc 100%. I'm not gonna tank a PV. And we get the Soaring Spirits. But yeah, we didn't get any kills, but that's alright. We got two flag captures and one flag return. So we, we know we were helpful. That's about all I got for you. I might have more for you, who knows, subscribe if you want to find out, and I'll see you in the next one guys, good luck in the BGs. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more wacky content, and drop a like if I'm on the right track and you're having a good time. Anyways, have a good one guys, and Godspeed.